Georgetown in Penang. It's me. I'm so excited to be back. I haven't been back here since I think 2019. Come with this little one, Jasmine. <laughs> but yeah, we've come for a few days away in Georgetown. I'm gonna be here two nights. And basically just wanted to come here, look at all the beautiful streets. Um, I love this place so much. There's so much history here. I love the Peranakan food. And this is honestly the place to come if you want to try amazing food. So we're basically just gonna be eating our way through Georgetown for the next couple of days. And I wanted to take you guys along with me. And I'm gonna basically show you everything I eat here. We're currently starving. So we just um, landed, we just checked into our hotel and we're heading to our first eating spot. I'll check in with you guys when we get there. Before we continue with the video, I just want to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, which is ExpressVPN. If you guys don't know what a VPN is by now, it is a virtual private network. A VPN is actually essential for privacy, security, and even content unlocking. I've been using ExpressVPN for over a year now, and it's an essential in my day-to-day -day life for a few reasons. Main reason being that ExpressVPN actually protects you from hackers that may be trying to steal your private information or your work. This is absolutely crucial if you work a lot remotely like I do. I work in coffee shops and I often connect to public Wi-Fi in hotels. With only basic computer knowledge, a hacker can actually steal your passwords, financial details, and even personal information. I don't know about you, but the thought of someone stealing my private information is pretty terrifying and definitely not worth the risk. To find out how you can get three free months with ExpressVPN, you go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Char Kway Tiao, I think that's what we're going for. Cheaper than Singapore. Um, which looks incredible. What is this Hokkien prawn mee? Hokkien prawn mee. That's called Hokkien prawn mee. That's for the store over there. Mm -hmm. That is the peanut char kway teow from that uncle over there. This is nice. You can see the char. Char. This is the best char kway teow I've ever had. We're gonna get, we're gonna get um, grilled for saying that. No. Don't people say that pork food is better in Malaysia anyway? Or is that like yeah. People do say that, right? This is so, so good. So that was so delicious that we've ordered another one because it wasn't enough and my appetite is huge today so this is the best day for me to eat got one more on the way and then we have just walked past this really cute place it's got like vintage shops and cute cafes so i'm definitely gonna need some coffee today so i think we're gonna go grab some coffee there after that if you guys had a chance to try this child kway teow you have to come try it it's opposite high this costs us one, or is it one? It's like one dollars eighty. It's ridiculously cheap. I may consider moving to Penang just for this. Anyway, this is round two. We're going in. Okay. 
So we're just walking through the old uh, jetties so Jasmine's been telling me the history basically this is where the Chinese came and settled and it's made up of many different uh, clans that live here and yeah they're still living here oh my god hey. hello oh my goodness your little tongue everyone welcome back to day two in Penang yesterday was really fun we ate so much food and we had a really delicious dinner at Kabaya dining room I didn't manage to vlog it but it is a Peranakan restaurant and they did a three course meal for us it was just absolutely delicious so I'm gonna link it down below been there before I highly recommend that you go check it out if you want a more upscale dinner but something really memorable I recommend going there so today we're going to the Peranakan Museum um, in a little while but first we're just gonna have a walk around so this morning I already had breakfast we popped quickly into a coffee shop um, it was a really nice one I'll link it down below that I had an iced latte and overnight oats because I'm trying to trying to have a bit of a balanced diet here although there's so much delicious food I don't want to just eat carby rich food all day long because I will feel really ill so I thought oats was a nice way to start the day off um, but the rest of the day I'm sure will be filled with some delicious um, local food so yeah it's absolutely boiling this morning but we're gonna take a walk around I'm sure the Sun will go in a bit later so yeah I love it here I really love it here I just love the vibe I think it's so chilled here it's actually election day today so it's a lot more quieter than it would normally be for a Saturday um, luckily for us we we are staying right in the centre so we don't have to take public transport or anything like that because that might be a bit more difficult got the little rickshaws going past here yeah it's just a very nice morning it's like 11 a.m oh no, it's not 11 a.m 12 p.m okay technically lunch time eating again well, yeah no peeling, that's right? the thing is that we don't <laughs> stop talking about food while we're here one of your viewers suggests this Tua Pai Karimi, which is nearby, okay, yeah. near Buckingham Road, of course. What is Karimi? Well, you find out. Oh, it's curry noodles. Yeah. Yeah, I asked um, you guys on Instagram if you had any suggestions, and they've really come in handy. So thank you for everyone that left me food suggestions. Armenian Georgetown. Street is quite interesting. You can go there now. Just okay. have a little bit of walk before we eat more. Build up that appetite. Yeah. Mm. Come on then. Okay. That way. We've come to a residential area which kind of is giving me Emerald Hill vibes <laughs> if you were to be in Singapore kind of the equivalent mostly shop houses I love being nosy when I come to new countries and kind of seeing residential houses although to be honest some of these are cafes and restaurants as well but so pretty around here I love it so much Burger. Burger is it? Chai coffee. Some cat chow. Nah. Oh, burger. Ah, we got the chow and burger. Go salad. Hey, burger, go white chow. 
Alright, we come across this auntie that sells drinks. Really old school, let's buy something to support her. So, um, this is something quite interesting to me because I down pergaga means pergaga leaf water. We do it the other way around in English and Malay. Yeah. Pergaga means that plant. Come here, show oh, me. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. That one, the round one. Where yeah. most people have it at home as a plant. I have put at home as a plant. Yeah. Some people call it UFO plant, some people call it money plant. I heard that you can consume them and eat them, but this auntie is selling them as juice, so I think I'm gonna try it. Okay, okay. She said it's for cooling. Okay. I asked her, is it for bitter? She said, no, nah, there's syrup. Hello, boss. We'll try it. Okay. Juice. It's good. Right. It's grassy, right? It's like wheat grass, but it's. Yeah. She said it's like cooling, it's like cooling tea. Back lane, auntie drink truck. <laughs> I've requested. On special lemon. request. Yes. Oopsie daisy. Thank you. Okay, we're in a restaurant that one of you guys have recommended. Gaik Leong. Leong. Auntie Gaik Leong. I think so. Uh, very authentic Veronica food. Thank you, whoever suggested this place is important to do. Jasmine didn't let me order anything I wanted because What's this? we're going traditional. We need the fried chicken that you want. Huh? The fried chicken. And we yeah, we got the fried chicken and some other dishes that I've never tried before. So Jasmine wants me to try some new things. So now we wait. Chestnut. No, nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Chestnut. Sorry, nut nutmeg is popular here. Nutmeg. They do, they do what? Pine. They do pickled nutmeg. They do candy nutmeg. They do nutmeg oil for rubbing for your massage. Mmm. Okay. It's actually really good. It's really sweet. See, I told you, it's better than Coke Light. So I was gonna get Coke Zero. Cause I'm addicted. But is this not full of sugar? Same thing. Fruit, not artificial sugar. That is really good. Okay. Have you had this before? Ooh. Yeah, it's really refreshing. <laughs> Jasmine was saying this is a type of fern salad. No, I don't call this a salad. They said it was a salad. It has honey and a leaf. Mm. It's very stemmy. And I think there's part of it that has curly, curly bits. Thank you. Oh my god, we got so much food. What? Why do we keep over ordering? <laughs> I know, but it's quite a lot for lunch. Nasi karabu. Look at how This is really is. fragrant. There's lots of herbs in here. Mm, really it smells really, really different. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this delicious dish. Yet, so we're heading to China House in hopes that they have coffee and cake. Is it open? No, it, I think it is. I see someone inside. We're not having very much luck. Oh, it is open. Thank goodness. China House has the best cakes ever. Last time I was here, I lost my mind. What I like about 
China house is that you can <laughs> give you crayons and you can scribble on the things. We're just writing love letters to each other, as you do. Um, we've ordered chocolate orange, cho uh, chocolate cake, I can't talk. Chocolate orange cake, which honestly, smells delicious. Smells incredible, and I am such a huge fan of chocolate orange. Like, chocolate orange is probably my favorite type of chocolate, so absolutely thrilled that they're selling this gonna give that a try in a minute and i'm just waiting for my coffee i'm getting parisian vibes right now are you I feel like we're here on a cold day in paris <laughs> even though it's 30 degrees outside but we can imagine here. yeah i think because i'm getting like winter vibes from watching other people's instagrams anyway i've gone for an iced oat latte got the chocolate cake and then jasmine ordered a pot of tea we've got um earl grey tea as well i do really like this place china house but please do note that it is not local prices it that just cost us 59 ringgit for tea coffee and cake um really quite pricey that's the most i've paid here i think um for a quick bite so um do bear that in mind although it's a really pretty location so maybe just come here for like a drink or something anyway they have this garden this really beautiful garden i wanted to show you guys it's right at the back of china house look how pretty guys i am gonna wrap the vlog up here we've got about an hour left before we head back to the airport i just got henna i decided to get henna because i've wanted to get henna for a long time and i am honestly the clumsiest person in the world so i got it and i was like holding my hand out making sure that i didn't ruin it and then i just randomly grabbed my hand and i've just completely ruined my henna and i'm so annoyed the top looks nice I was like, that's just my luck. I feel like I can't have anything nice. It's very annoying. But um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed coming along to Georgetown with me and seeing what I had to eat. I'm going to leave all my favourite eating spots down below so you can go check them out if you come here yourself. Love Georgetown as always. 48 hours is definitely enough time to be here. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, I think 48 hours is a good amount of time. Um, it's a good weekend getaway place. Perfect weekend getaway, especially from Singapore, so you must try it. And the heritage houses are just beautiful. If you're into that kind of architecture, then you will love this place. So thank you guys for watching so much as always. Remember to like and subscribe. I can't never do that. Yeah, there. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.